We have the great pleasure and honor to have a welcome speech by Her Excellency Dr. Viosa Osmani, the President of the Republic of Kosovo. Thank you. Thank you. What a great honor. Dear professors, scholars, directors, coaches, arbitrators, dear Moody's, it is such a great pleasure to speak in front of all of you today, not only as the president of my beloved country, the Republic of Kosovo, but also as an academic, a former VIS coach for more than 15 years, and most of all, a lifetime Moody a lifetime admirer of the Vismut. There is certainly no greater privilege than to serve your country and your people as president, and for that, I am immensely grateful. In this role, as you can imagine, there are many challenging moments, but for every challenging moment, you also get to experience moments that are truly unique and special. For me, this moment is one of them. Being here today, in front of all of you feels like coming back home. So thank you for giving me this opportunity. As I... Thank you. As I stand here before you, I can vividly remember what it's like to be sitting in this special and extremely beautiful concert house. The nerves, the excitement, the accelerating feeling of being on the precipice of almost a year's worth of hard work. So many sleepless nights, bonds forged over a shared love for law, and a joint aspiration to win this highly competitive competition makes this priceless educational experience such an important milestone and a memory to cherish forever. So I want to congratulate you all for that. Returning to this hall and to the in-person Vismut experience after three years of online pleadings is also something we should celebrate tonight because there is nothing that compares to the days spent in Vienna during the moot. I also want to congratulate all of the organizers for their vision, particularly Professor Bergsten, who's not here with us today, Professor Kroll, everyone, everyone that has contributed to the moot for their vision, for their hard work, for their commitment and for leading the way to Vismut's 30, 30th anniversary. A lot has changed since I first participated in the moot myself, exactly 20 years ago. The venue was much smaller, much less crowded. All sessions were held at the Euridicum, and our moot problems dealt with cars and bottles of wine instead of fancy state-of-the-art drone technologies. But look at what the mood has grown into. Today, over 380 participating universities are coming together, covering practically all jurisdictions worldwide and setting a marvelous example of diversity and inclusion, as well as promoting a spirit of fair and principled competition. And on days like this, we should take a moment to recall the importance and the impact the moot has had in our lives, as well as the meaningful contribution it's ha it has had in developing the area of international trade and international arbitration in so many countries. In particular, I'd like to mention the remarkable impact that this moot has had in developing this area of law in my country and in our region. When I was first introduced to the moot by the extraordinary team from the University of Pittsburgh, Arbitration and the CISG were notions almost unheard of in our region. We used the moot and its problems to get acquainted with the nature of arbitration and exploring the CISG. Back then, we had no laws on arbitration. And although the CISG was known as an instrument, it was very rarely, if ever, used by traders or applied by judges in courts. Fast forward over two decades later, International trade and investments are flourishing significantly, and we are witnessing a growing number of legal professionals in the field of arbitration and international sale of goods. Arbitration clauses are an integral part of business contracts. More and more chambers of arbitration are being opened, while the list of arbitrators is constantly growing and judges in courts are applying the CISG. 
And although all of this is a natural outcome of intensified business exchanges, we can all attest to the fact that the heightened speed at which this has developed has the VIS imprint all over it. Through enhanced capacities in arbitration and the ever-improved understanding of the international trade law, also the performance of our teams from Kosovo got better over the year. I remember the very first time the name of the University of Pristina was called in this room as one of the teams qualifying. Nothing, nothing, nothing can beat the overwhelming feeling of joy and bursting with pride. For so many years, we did not actually have the means, the support, and the infrastructure to prepare for this competition. We would hold most of our preparations for oral arguments in coffee shops. To the extent that even the waiters had memorized the lines of our arguments. <laughs> the stress can sometimes be so overwhelming, so don't be surprised if a member of your team comes to the metro station wearing slippers instead of shoes. It has happened to one of our team members once. Or if you forget your codes behind and never find them again while running to argue in the round of 32 due to this emotions. So of course, we have come a long way since then. And as I see the Kosovo team here, I just want to say how proud I am of their achievements throughout the years. You never cease to amaze me. This success. <laughs> of course, this success came with a lot of hard work, sleepless nights, and some truly unforgettable moments for each and every university participating. But as I speak of successes, I cannot go on without mentioning the unifying power and the spirit of empowerment that embodies this competition. It has managed to turn students, even from war-torn societies and less developed countries, into dreamers and believers. But most importantly, it has turned them into doers. And there's so much spoken about the leaders of the future. What we witness in Vienna is a culmination of persistent hard work of so many individuals who more than often do not pref actually prefer to watch from the back and cheer proudly as their teams succeed. I have been lucky to meet some of these people, be inspired and guided by them, and on this note, of course, I would like to give a special mention to Professors Brand and Fleckner from the University of Pittsburgh, to Professor Bergsten, as I mentioned before. I want to particularly thank you, Professor Brand, Professor Fleckner, for your leadership, to thank you for the compassion and dedication that you had given to my country and its teams. I thank you and other partner universities across the world, as well as so many other individuals who have dedicated time, effort, and resources in helping students for, from countries like Kosovo, Ukraine, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and so many other countries. You truly helped us believe in what seemed to be unbelievable, unimaginable. Thank you for creating the opportunities and paving the way for so many of us in this hall and for so many others in the future. Because of individuals like yourselves and so many others, this mood today is not a mere competition. It is a uniting force and a platform that builds bridges and long-lasting friendships and partnerships. So, of course, I'm so delighted to see that same VIS effect spreading across other regions as well. This is a testament to the credibility and reputation that this competition has gained throughout the years. Today, many might see you merely as students working hard for an international competition. They should never forget that they are actually looking at future, bright, outstanding lawyers, business people, professors, and yes, even presidents. As such, I want to take a moment to congratulate every one of you today for making it this far. I say this far 
Because although the competition is just about to get started, I know that the toughest days are already behind you. You are now here to excel and to showcase best the results of almost a year of hard work. Throughout this period, you've gone from a group of people who barely knew what arbitration in the CISG is about to experts on the topics you will be pleading about as of tomorrow. And you will understand throughout the years, as I did, that it was this, it was this, that has prepared you to overcome any professional challenge with force and fervor. That it was this that has opened the doors of success and has prepared you to excel in your jobs in the future, whatever that job might be. You will need the VIS experience whether you will be that next professor, the next lawyer or arbitrator, or the next politician. Because VIS doesn't just teach you to act different, it teaches you to also think differently. And ever since day one of my political engagement, I have felt guided by the VIS principles. Well equipped with a vis set of skills and a few general and elimination rounds and many rebuttals later, a lot of rebuttals later, I was elected the President of the Republic. To this day, there are many vis principles that I apply daily in my work. And so do my mem members of my team as that they can attest. Number one, always put your strongest arguments first. Second, always be aware of the audience and be responsive to your audience. Three, research, research, and research because an evidence-based argument is always the strongest argument. Four, speak clearly and have a clear structure. Five, and I would say quite importantly, learn how to preempt your opponent's arguments. All of these also apply in politics and I would say in every other job. Remember these and you'll somehow find yourself applying the same in your professional careers throughout all stages of your life. So ladies and gentlemen, your students, professors, before I conclude, I want us all to take a moment to particularly recognize the work of teams from one particular country, the Vismut teams from Ukraine. Coming from Kosovo, a country that went through what you are going through today, I want to say that you are the embodiment of the Ukrainian resilience. You being here, even during the most challenging time for your country, sends a clear message that whether in times of peer, peace or times of war, education will always remain our guiding light. As I represent a country that had to go through the same horror, I want to say that the people of Kosovo share your pain and we will stand with you for as long as it takes. And on a final note, dear Moody's, the competition is truly an outstanding experience. But most importantly, it is a journey of education, reflection, and also enlightenment. One thing I can assure you is that you will always carry with you the VIS spirit the valuable lessons, and the precious memories. And if you made it to Vienna, whether you make it to the final rounds or not, trust me, you are already a winner. So always remember, if you can do this, you can do anything. Thank you.